YouTubers, Wasp Spray back again here. Um, doing a top five tag. I was tagged by Sandum Todd, and I I actually enjoy doing the tag videos. So thanks for tagging me, man. As long as it's video game related, I guess I like doing the tag videos. Um, thanks for tagging me. Anyways, here we go. It is a top five tag. I don't know if I said that or not already, but um, first is top five top five game characters. It's hard for me to pick top five, kind of like uh, Adam on this side. I think I'm just going to kind of say them in no specific order, really. Um, probably, the you know, in the higher ranks of this five. Dirk um, from Dragon's Lair is, uh, he, he might be my favorite, I would say. Top game character would be Dirk from Dragon's Lair. He's awesome. He's not, he's heroic, I guess, but he's kind of a klutz and he... It's kind of clumsy and, you know, just barely gets through every time, but he's pretty awesome. Um, Soda Popinski is pretty awesome. I like him a lot. Um, Luigi is substantially better than Mario. Uh, he's okay. I, um, I think Mario kind of stinks personally, but Luigi is cool. Um, I'm trying to think of who else I really like. Um... A lot of the games I play a lot of don't have like a mainstream main character. Um, maybe um, there's a guy named Hellfire that I really like to be in Mutant League Football. He's a defensive lineman. He's pretty awesome. Um, what is that? Four people? One more guy? Mega Man, let's say. Mega Man's cool. Um, there's that. Top five games of all time. This is also a really hard one to do, but. Um, Dragon's Lair for Sega CD, um, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, or actually I'll say Super Punch-Out over Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Champions of Norath 2, Return to Arms for PS2, Baldur's Gate 2, um, I think that leaves one spot, Kung Fu for NES. So that's my top five games. Um, I don't know if you really want me to go into any more detail on those, but... Um, yeah, a couple of them are from PS2, so I don't know if those count or not. And if you haven't played Norath or Baldur's Gate, must play. So those are, those are going to be one and two on the list. Champs and Norath Return to Arms is my favorite game for any system ever. The game is, the game is awesome. I mean, I have so many hours into that game, and I would still like to, like to play it more. But So there's that. Um, top five consoles... That's a hard one too. Um, in no particular order. Well, the the best one of all time. I am a Sega guy, I know, but I will say the the best console of all time is the NES. The original NES is a really good console. It's um, it's the best console ever made. A lot of people I've heard people say, you know, well, you can't compare 360 to NES. Well, you I say you can, and I say NES is better than the Xbox 360. It's better than the PS3 better than anything. The graphics aren't better, but we're not talking graphics, we're talking game system. Um, so that would be number one. Um, after that, Super Nintendo I really liked. For Nintendo system, that's the only ones I really liked. Um, I have a Wii, I don't ever play it, I don't really like it. Um, 64 I thought was horrible, I know a lot of people love 64, but there's only one good, or there's two good 64 games, Star Fox and Pokemon Puzzle League, and that's it. GameCube was okay, but, um, so we've got Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis with the Sega CD, I don't know if you count that as one or two, um, and PS1, I know PS2 is backwards compatible, but I'm not counting that, PS1 I think is better than PS2, and then maybe the PS2, that'll figure finish out the, the top, the top, uh, consoles. So that's all I got for you. Sorry I didn't uh, go into depth too much. Kind of short video, but to the point. I will take a couple of people in this. I don't know if you guys have done this already. If you don't want to do it, I won't be offended. So, uh, But 8-Bit Goomba. Forcing you to do this again. I always take 8-Bit... I, I do care if 8-Bit Goomba does it or not. Because I always force them into it. So 8-Bit Goomba, I'm forcing you to do it. 
Um, if you haven't done it already, if you've already done it, I'll let you I'll let you slide on this one. But um, and then optional. <laughs> This is kind of a joke between me and him, but optional, um, Atari Leaf would be awesome if you wanted to do it, and Mr. Intellivision if you want to do it, um, would be really cool. That's all I got for you guys now. Thanks a lot. Bye.